When I heard our former president say he wanted to be dictator just on day one, I thought, why would he say something like that? Is he hoping no one will take him serious? Maybe he is serious, and to him, each new day in the White House would be a new day one to him. Then I learned how this was not an isolated comment. Isn't a man who mentions wanting to embrace dictatorship, eliminate voting rights, and then diminish the Constitution scary to you too? Anyway, so I did something a little out there and had a conversation with AI about the possibility of the United States president becoming a dictator in this country. I felt like I was in a Terminator movie reaching out to a machine for help about survival of democracy. I wish it was as silly as it sounds, but I was serious. AI replied, It would require a combination of sustained legal, political, and military maneuvers that might face significant pushback from various sectors of society. So, while it's possible in theory, it would still face enormous challenges in practice. That eased my mind for a minute, but then I thought what if all this former president's odd and outrageous behavior is just a front for a more sinister plan to actually attempt it. After all, he also said he plans to make it so that no one will be voting in another president after him again. Dictatorship should not be a desired position for an American president, even for a day or not even as a thought for just one minute. This is a serious issue coming from the mind and mouth of a man aiming to position himself in a very powerful seat of authority. No matter who you are, please vote responsibly. This may not only be a matter of whose policies are better, but a fight for democracy. Let's put political differences aside and vote for democracy.